Okay, folks, back up under working on the front side. I think what I'm going to do, this plate right here is separate. I don't mind bolting or welding to it. It's already got a few holes in it, but I don't want to weld or bolt to the mainframe unless I bolt into the side of it, of course. You don't want, ever want to bolt into the flanges on top and bottom. I'm going to take another piece of truck frame I have, and it's heavy stuff. It's quarter inch. It's actually right much heavier than this. I'm going to bring it down. And then I'd love to be able to bring it, bring it up inside of here, but you can see the height of this. You know, I won't be able to do it because it's got a curve to it. So I think I'm going to cut it to where I can actually run it a ways up inside here and bolt it in with our three bolts and then bring it down to the same level as this one. And like I said, I don't mind welding to this one, so we'll weld it in here and just add it sort of bolted to the inside of this or welded, but I mean, I'd like to get a couple bolts in it, but bolt it to this and then weld it to the bottom flange, bring it back, and then uh, that'll leave us room for maybe a couple small pieces coming off of it up to the original cross member here. And uh, we'll decide that after we get them on, but I'll go ahead and get them cut out and get the holes drilled, bolted on. We're gonna move this enough to get some weld on this back plate, you know, there's a, there's two plates there. There's the frame, and then there's a plate. Now, like I said, I don't mind welding to it either. I just don't want to weld on my main frame. But uh, I'll go ahead and get them cut out and try to get them on there and show you more. Okay, folks, I've got one side done here. You can see I bolted it in here. I've got it welded in, but I just welded it to the outer plate. I didn't weld it to the main frame. Uh, I did weld it through here. And then, of course, on the bottom. Uh, the only thing bad about using this thick of frame, uh, the radius is different. Because a thicker frame, it takes more of a radius to get the bend. So, you know, your, my radius is, don't match up. But, I mean, that's not that big of a deal. But I'll show you on the outside what it looks like. But, but that's what it looks like on the inside. I think I will, uh, I'm going to decide what I'm going to do if I am, you know, even am going to do anything on the cross member to add something in. These bolts that we put in, if you see it, just cleared the bottom. So I've got to make two pieces to go around, you know, two tabs, and I'll weld them on to the cross member to, uh, so them nuts will come up right. And uh, we've got to get some bolts or nuts back into the, the cross member to get it uh, strengthened back in. But uh, I think this is going to work out just fine. And I will, uh, I'll show you the outside real quick. Okay, folks, we got all our bolts straightened out. I added two more bolts in for the cross member. These two bolts I'm just going to do away with, not worry about them, because I, I extended them little pieces down and put these in it, so they're holding it, holding the cross member now. So got the good bolts in it. And uh, bottom's done. And she's finished up with this side and we'll get on the other side and see if we can't get it down. Show you more. Okay, folks, we've got both sides finished up, and uh, things work out just fine. I may or may not go back in the back of it down here and run a cross member across. It's high enough that the drive shaft, it wouldn't affect the drive shaft at all, but I really don't think I need it, but I may add it. And uh, when I say I don't think I need it, I may add it. That probably means I'm going to do it, but uh, we'll worry about that later. Got some other stuff we're going to do next. Uh, 
going to, let me see, we want to get it fired up and running in a while. So what we're going to do, next thing we're going to do is go ahead and get the radiator hoses finished up on it. And get it where uh, we can fire it up and run it and let it run a while. Probably put some cleaner in it and uh, clean the injectors out. And we've got all the power steering hooked up now. I needed one fitting. I finally found it. So we'll go ahead and uh, check it out. You know, get a, get some fluid in it, and you know, it takes some it takes some special fluid. You know, a lot of people use Dextron and stuff, but this actually these power steering on this international calls for a special fluid. So we'll get it and uh, get it in there. You know, make sure we get all our lines tied away from our steering and where they need to be, and uh, we'll check that out. See how this power steering works and the power brakes feel. Of course, we've got a we've got our lines running down here, our rubber lines. So we're gonna make some mounts for the frame. Go ahead and start getting that figured out, and get the brake system together. But like I said, next we're gonna have it running. Uh, still got to come up with a transmission cooler to go in front of the radiator. Uh, last time I done one, I actually used a hydraulic cooler and just redone the fittings on the end, welded them on, and that was on the top kick actually, and. Uh, so we've got to find a hydraulic cooler or something. You know, most, I think these things run three quarter inch lines. So most transmission coolers are not nearly big enough. So, you know, for the flow and the capacity. So we will probably use a, probably use a uh, hydraulic cooler and we'll get to that. But like I said, I want to go ahead and get it started up and get it running. And it's nice and cool out. I don't think we have any heat issues with the transmission. So, you know, I've got the lines running together on that. And uh, let me see, we got to get our hubs done. And, you know, here's the other side finished up. And I may do something on these holes before it's over with, but, you know, we're not worried about them right now. Uh, you know, everything there is pretty much buttoned up. The wheel adapters for the front. The reason that I haven't finished them, I've got to get the studs out of the Kenworth truck. I've got to move the Kenworth before I take them out because I'm not going to be able to move it after I take them out. Uh, a set of them big studs, 10 studs, 10 nuts, $200. That's 200 for this wheel, two for the other wheel. That's $800 total. Uh, that's why we're not running out and buying studs and bolts, you know, nuts. And and uh, so we've got to get them so we can go ahead and get the front wheels on. I'm offsetting the rims on the front. I've actually got an extra center. I've only got one. I've got to come up with another one of these centers right here. And I'm actually going to cut this center out and then take another one of these centers and cut it out here, turn it around backwards, and bolt it in with all these bolts that are around it from the back side. And what we're basically doing is moving this four and a half inches in. And that's how we're going to offset them. I just got to find one more center. Uh, if I have to, I'll buy another rim, wheel and tire. I get them army surplus uh, from a fella and the price is right. So I don't mind buying an extra one and you know, I'll use the, the rim and then uh, save the uh, tire for a backup. I mean, that's probably my best idea anyway, but uh, but appreciate everybody watching. I know, you know, we finally got this pretty much buttoned up. So, I mean, maybe some of this boring stuff we'll, we'll get over with and you can start seeing some some real fabricating, real building. But uh, appreciate everybody that subscribed. I really do appreciate everybody that watches for sure, uh, commenting and uh, liking. And until next time, bye.